Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I have some new information I want to share with y'all. Our weather pattern is about to completely change, and it's not the way you've been thinking. There's a lot of information about what's coming out, and I'm going to show you exactly what the next pattern we're going into, plus as we go into spring and as we go into next hurricane season for 2024. It's going to be more active than this year and maybe even La Nina active. So I'm going to give you all the latest information you've ever been before. Make sure you subscribe. I do follow these weather patterns early and I will explain to you to where you can understand what's going on. I appreciate your time. Make sure you hit the like, share the information guys. Now let's get into your weather forecast so you know exactly what is happening. Now you can see the beginning of this transition as you look way up in the atmosphere, way up at the 50 millibars at your temperature anomaly with the euro and you can see right here that we do have this below average temperatures that's still gonna be moving in in three days that is gonna come across the u.s and in five days go towards the east coast then after that we're gonna hang around to the beginning of december all the way to the northeast but we're going to a above average pattern guys and the cool air is going to be retracting towards the north you can also see this on the gefs ensembles as you keep going towards the three days you have this very cool air that's still moving in for thanksgiving after thanksgiving and more cold air coming at the end of november beginning of december across the great lakes going out through the northeast and this is actually normal for our pattern we're in the el nino pattern and we're going towards a neutral phase soon as we go towards springtime then even stronger towards La Nina as we go towards hurricane season. So as you go past that cool front that's coming in the beginning of December for the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, out through the Northeast, we have this above average anomaly just starting to kick in. Now this anomaly is kicking all the way from Canada, all the way through the U.S., all the way into Mexico as we go through the beginning of December after we get that cold blast. And it's going to hang around for December. Look at that, guys. Above average pattern is setting in for quite some time. So as we take a look at the new data that has come out, you can see with the long range, matter of fact, that's what the EPS, like I told you before, was made for medium forecast confidence, medium to long range. And you can see with your Arctic oscillation, let me show you what you're looking at. You see over here, are we going towards that cool spill? All right, below average, you're getting that cold air coming in. Then we got that warm up coming in. Now you can see here, after that cold front coming in for the beginning of December, you can see right around the 7th, that the euro starts getting all whacked and showing a very cold air anomaly moving through. This is not what's going to happen like you think it's going to happen. This is going to be some below average temperatures, some cold air that's going to be trapped in the south of the U.S. It's not going to last long, but this is exactly what's in the pattern that we're in for El Nino, guys. But this is not happening like you see it. You can see it on your mean, on your average, that we're going to be in this pattern. Now, if you look at this, this is actually your 25 to 75% grade. So you can see how everything stays within that darker blue color. And you see how normally it's going to be going this direction, guys. It won't be doing that deep dip. It gets really out of confidence once it gets away from this dark blue and starts doing this dip. You can see this on the update on the EPS, the Ensemble Prediction System. And we're still going through that cold blast, like I told you, all the way past Thanksgiving and for the beginning of December. Then we're going on that warm-up, guys. And past that, I really didn't want to say because this is still a potential as well. Now I'm showing more confidence in it. But if you see how past that, it stays in that 25 to 75% profile. And it stays there the whole time all the way to January. You don't see that deep off-the-grid chances coming in. Matter of fact, you can see with that blue, it drops percentages greatly. So it's in this area where it's going to be. But you can also see this is from a couple of days ago and we just got this. So if you go with the previous one, look how extreme it was right before this. It showed the super warm up, which we are about to go into. Not like a crazy warm summer warm, but it's going to be above average. Y'all going to be in a lot of 40s when we should be in our 20s around this time of year. It's really going to be a nice little above average warm up at the same time. You see before, it stays within that 25 to 75% range, but it starts leaving once it gets around two weeks, guys. Because once you get two weeks, it's really hard to even believe these ensembles, okay? They change so much. But look at this. Once you go from that two weeks, it changes. Once you go from the two weeks on the latest one, 
boom, it changes. And you can even see the previous one, it showed that there is some kind of cold front that might be coming in. You see, it showed it for a couple of times. But you see how it's closer towards the 25 to 75% range, and they're all agreeing that it's going to be on that warm-up after that. You see that little dip that comes in before? This is way back to the 16th. Maybe a dip, but you see how it stays in that range, in that 25 to 75% range. Now, as you keep going, loses confidence a little bit more, really seeing that warm-up because it's going all the way into Canada. And then the last one you have, boom, you see that cold air. So let me explain this to you. Now, let me show you this as well. As you look at all the members, you can see right here that you have that cold dip coming through and more than likely going on that warm up after the end of November, the very beginning of December, as we get the last of that cold front going out through the Northeast, also some in the Southeast. They all agree. And even the GEFS the ensemble is showing it after this cold front in the beginning of December, more than likely going on that above average, going back on that warm up, guys. It's only the GFS that's showing that extreme drop. So as you look at your temperature anomaly, your lower level temperatures, 850 millibars with the euro, you can see a below average temperature starting to move in for Thanksgiving. And after that keeps on going towards the south and you keep them cool temperatures all the way to the end of November, 5 to 15, almost 20 degree difference in what you're used to this time of year. And that swings out from the end of November, beginning of December through the upper Midwest out through the Ohio Valley Great Lakes, out through the Northeast. Then we get that above average pattern that starts kicking in. You can see this better with the GFS. GFS is a little bit of a long range model than the Euro. Out through the upper Midwest, very cold air, I might add. Going through the Ohio Valley Great Lakes, out through the Northeast. But then you get that above average pattern that really sets in while you get a below average pattern starting to kick in for the South. So you're all above average temperatures from the West Coast all the way into Canada as we go through the beginning of December after that cold front and you get below average in the South. That's why the ensembles are confused. They're showing a big warm up. Then the next one, they show a big cold blast coming to the South. That's because we're going to have colder than normal air this time of year going to be trapped by all of this high pressure. And when you look at the latest of your El Nino pattern, you can see that normally you're warmer than average on the north side of the U.S. all the way into Canada. Why you get that jet stream coming through the Great Lakes out through the northeast and you're cooler than normal in the south. This is a normal El Nino pattern. It was predicted above average temperatures on the north for the winter and below average and wetter for the south of the U.S. And that was during this El Nino pattern and that's exactly what you've seen. So this is nothing super worrisome. This is exactly normal. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what we're about to go into. Now, we'll update you on the temperatures again. You've never been here before. Go to my recent videos. I've been showing about this cold air coming through for quite some time, and it is bringing a lot of cold temperatures with it. Even that second dip for the end of November, beginning of December, going through the Great Lakes, out through the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, out through the Northeast from the upper Midwest. It's still coming that way as well. Then after that, it's going to change. But still showing is bringing a lot of wind chills, making you feel like a lot of 15 degree temperatures. And it's bringing a lot of negative wind chills, especially in the higher elevations and coming through the upper Midwest on that second blast. It's going to be very cold temperatures. I will update you on that again. I just want to make this as quick as I can to let you know what kind of seasonal forecast we're going into. Still showing is going to bring that snowstorm, mostly for the Rocky Mountains, going through the Central Plains, good snowstorm, still going to lighten up as it goes through the Ohio Valley, through the Great Lakes, and heavier for the Northeast as well. I will update you this again for tomorrow as well. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but I will do a video early, let you know what this snowstorm is actually going to do. And you can see it does trend with GFS, pretty much staying that way. And you can see what we're going into when you look at our temperature probability outlook from National Weather Service. Next 6 to 10 day, all the way to December 1st, you have this below average temperatures moving through while you're getting that above average starting to grow in the West Coast. And when you go all the way to the 14 days, all the way to December 5th, you see how that moves across to the east. And you're getting that above average temperatures kicking in on the West Coast, up Midwest, going all the way into Canada, guys. Once again, you can see this with GEFS as well as you get that cold front coming through the end of the month, beginning of December. Then we're going to go into that above average anomaly, guys, where the temperatures is going to start changing and be warmer. Normally what we get for this time of year, all the way until the 10th of December, then maybe some cool air coming back in on the West Coast. This is going to change our weather pattern. It is going to 
not be so freezing in the south like I'm sure y'all been told. And you can see this on GFS as you go towards the end of November, the 28th through the 30th. You have this very cold air coming through the Great Lakes out through the northeast. Then we're going to start going on that warm-up, guys. A little bit of a warm-up where this cold air is not going to stick through no more. And it's going to be in the 40s all the way into Canada. Very warm temperatures setting in right after this cold blast. Plus, there was an update on our current events of what's going on with our seasons as of November 20th. And you can see the update of what's going on. So as we go into this El Nino, you can see as we go towards May, June, and July, that neutral is going to start taking over. And as we go towards June, July, and August, we will be in a neutral phase. And La Nina is starting to come back, probably for August, September, and October, right for our hurricane season. So when you go in towards your neutral pattern, you always get the subtropical jet kicking in, but it gets warmer across the south, guys, and you start getting a little bit more wetter for the Tennessee-Kentucky Valley, and you get that polar jet coming through the Great Lakes up Midwest out through the northeast. As we're starting to see, as we go into December, as we get that big blast coming through, that second blast, before we go above average temperatures. It's going to stay in this pattern for our springtime as well. And when you take a look at all the Enzo members and see what they're forecasting, you can see how they're going gradually towards that La Nina, guys. They got one that's spiking, but at the same time, you can see how this gradually turns. So this isn't going to go down all of a sudden go right back towards an El Nino. This is going to, if it goes back towards an El Nino and don't stay long in La Nina, it will dip in La Nina for a short time before it goes northern, if it goes back northern. It could stay into La Nina all of next year, guys. Matter of fact, usually La Nina is one to three years long. So when we have a Enzo neutral phase going towards our hurricane season, going towards 2024 hurricane season, everything is normal. Our temperatures are about normal. Our trade winds are about normal. And our hurricane season will be a little bit stronger, even if it stays at just a neutral phase rather than El Nino when we have stronger winds, more shear. There's going to be less shear during neutral. It'd be even less during La Nina. And during La Nina, as everyone knows, you get a lot more monsoon precipitation come off of Africa. You get a lot more of them easterly winds going west, and it drives these storms further into our Caribbean, getting them stronger hurricanes. La Nina is definitely what we don't want to see for hurricane season, but it looks like we're potentially going that way for 2024. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope this helps you understand what pattern we are going into. We still have those cold temperatures coming through, but then we have them above average temperatures coming through. We don't have some big freeze coming through as we go through December and January. Now, normally we get these temperatures from the up Midwest going through the Great Lakes out through the Northeast as we go January and February. That's normally when we get our winters up here in the North. Now that is absolutely normal as well. So enjoy your day, everybody. I hope this helps you understand what's going on. I really believe that out of all this, it's really bad to see that we're going to be going towards stronger and stronger of our hurricane season as we go towards next year. It's definitely going to be a lot worse than this year. If this video has helped you in any way, consider subscribing, hit that like button, make sure you click that bell so you get the updates. I am all year long. And real quick before you go, I will see y'all tomorrow morning. But a quick message, Psalm 107, 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow, guys. I will see you in the morning before Thanksgiving. For those that don't have time, you're traveling, be very safe. And if you're going to be really busy, have every Thanksgiving to every single one of you. I give thanks every single day to every single meal I eat, my family, and myself. We just stay that way. So I always give praise. Always give thanks just for being alive. Because there's always someone that's doing worse, guys. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I hope he always keeps you safe every single day of your life, you and your families and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you in the morning.